What's up guys, Detective Fallen here, back with another investigation into Grand Theft Auto 5. This is part 25, and last time we left off, we were just getting ready to set up with all the heist. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and hop into a vehicle as Franklin, and we'll be heading off to start some heist up. First one's actually pretty nearby. Let's go ahead and set that up. Alright, cool. The first setup is actually buying masks. I didn't know if I was going to get away from these cops. Dude, like, one of the dudes came back to get his car, and the other two guys just wanted to help him. Not cool. says Trevor oh, definitely says Trevor and then Hello? Michael oh, I mean that one has to go actually a pretty Michael look to it, so maybe we're That's looking for cool. Franklin. Hey, but none of these masks up? really fit Franklin, if you ask well, me. You're gonna have to make it up. I don't really care. So maybe you are looking for one for Michael. Michael can be the skull. I she might have gone home with that little number. What do you mean she's a he? I think it did that, however, I it didn't even pick it the way I wanted it, so it's okay. Figure it out. Hey there. Later, Frank. Going to the gym later? Alright, so we got the masks in order. I handled the mask, man. Don't worry about them. just because how it's set up. Thank you. 
wife rides me so hard I need to buy a saddle that I can't even afford. I was wondering if you'd be back in again. Listening to you and those two friends of yours bantering back and forth, it was so cool. It was like I was in a movie or a music video or something. Man, what are you talking about? I love the hip-hop. P.G. Jackson, M.C. Clip. That ain't real hip-hop. No. I barely exist outside the store. Oh. It's okay, Brisky. Live your life. You know, they're surprisingly comfortable. I need to get home and get drunk. Yep. I feel like Trevor's close to that one and Michael's close to that one, so I could let them handle at least one desk. Hey y'all, we got ourselves some boiler suits. I changed my mind, I like this car. Franklin's gonna handle it after all, as long as I don't lose this car. Where does it need to be dropped off? Is there a spot? So definitely don't know the spot off the top of my head. that movie. Oh, it is moving. Okay. I was like, what the heck? <clears throat> Aww. I didn't think this is out too long. Well. Go, 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 you're in the way. Bitch. <laughs> Come out! You got the day off, homie!
SPD Just big enough. They're just small enough. Mm That's the garbage truck. All right, just on to the last location now.
piece of junk. <coughs> Crap. Shit. Sorry, right, guys. I just put him to this nappy nap so he didn't try to get his tow truck back. I think it's just so funny that you can tow people's cars while they're still in them just by backing up to them like that. That is amazing. <sighs> I even brought my next car with me. Hey, the tow truck's at the lot, dog. Ready to go. I get I need a better car. <laughs> we'll use that car to go find it though. It's a good spot, so I'm gonna mark this at least. Can you imagine if this is the car I chose as our getaway car? Santos area because I usually got some nice cars. 
I already got more fear filled though. Which way do I need to go? Uh, looks like I just follow the highway right there. Uh. Yeah. Get there in no time. Might even see some nice cars along the way because it's on the highway. Melting pot of the city. This wouldn't have been a bad little getaway car. It's just been kind of funny. That's kind of a nice car. Want something a little faster looking though. Take it from a different angle. Oh, he's only got two seats though, doesn't he? Need a four seater. Weird. How many seats you got? Two. Need something fast with four seats though. <laughs> Check. I doubt he's gonna be able to afford anything on the uh I'm taking a break from the impression of technology. but then he would own it. I have to find a car that I don't own. This isn't even a four door, that's the funny part.
think it has to be, because they said I can use that one, too. That's not a four-door car. to mark something else. Ah. Well, dang. I was gonna find a spot to hide it, I guess, though. Actually, yeah, I know a good spot right over there. Hey, I got a ride for our getaway, homie. Well done. Where's it stored? Pacific Bluffs. All right, that's everything. I'll call Steve, tell him we're ready to move on this. Hopefully that's not a problem. That's the two-door, though. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. One of them's not gonna be able to get in the car. Alright, so now we just gotta go to the big heist. Let's see, I was looking at these cars, seeing which one I wanted to uh, drive over there. Kinda like this one. Lucky too. Didn't even have to do nothing, just opened it and started it up.
could. Easy. Yeah, I'm starving. Let's get this over. Okay, nice dog. You're gonna regret. You have me back. Back, back. The cops are on their way. Total dead. Uh, probably not what I needed to be doing. Dead end. It's a dead end. You gotta be kidding me. to go from here and they know it. Get everything up. I'm just trying to go somewhere. <laughs> I really just want out of here. Please, <laughs> let me out. Oh, 
the gate opens now. Since when? Alright, open. That is a car. I want that car right there. I'm just swapping cars. That's dumb luck right there. Hey, what's cracking? What's here? Right there. <laughs> so we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Let's sit up. Here's the plan. Hey, Trevor. Yeah. I want you in this position up here. Yeah, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be right here in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley in a tow truck. Hope is they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Gee, <laughs> here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors. Grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes' guy. It's all a little hole for home. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down, okay? When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? She a true professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go, go. Seriously, you guys are aggressive. Calm down. Let me pull my garbage truck out. Like, I get what the, the signs are saying, but come on, bro. You, you act like you ain't never seen somebody do a bad drive. Alright, fucking look both ways, gee. I'm a criminal. There's, there's something different. <laughs> I'm in position. What's the ETA? Just a second. I got a visual on the target. Should be with you any moment. All right, Mike, move it. Get the truck in position. Across both lanes, remember. Hold up, get ready, Frank. Did Public Works change their schedule? Ramus speed, bitch! Back away from the bomb, huh? Whoa! 
Clean out the van. I got the guards. The alarm's been tripped. The cops will be swarming here in 10 seconds. You better run. Shut the fuck up. Come on. Good to go. Sounds like they're coming in numbers, homie. Looks like they hit their panic button. Half the LSPD incoming. Hep, keep covered by those barriers. I'm going up here. Shit. We ain't gonna clear the area. All right, we hold the cop. Make a play when we see a window. Hey, this gonna be a nasty motherfucker, man. On the snipers, they're going down. No, I don't.
get a hike, man. You stay safe. Where the fuck are you going? Don't tell me they left it in the same place I put it. That's why it's so far. Wow, that's just ridiculous. Garbage truck won't fit. Bring it closer. Bro, that's just not fair. <laughs> the garbage truck won't fit in there. Maybe if I park it underneath. Oh, can I go underneath?
see anything. This is too funny though. <laughs> Everything cool? Yeah, man, shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Got a package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston? Come on. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom, so long, motherfucker. Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores, big ticket cars, major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 no. I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. That's what it's all... Not money anymore. He's, he just wants one, to meet boys. people. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We got Solomon. And we got Devin. Stop here. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very well. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all right. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'll think about it. All right. Me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you. It's a step up for you. A real opportunity.
Rockford Hills. Hey, we're here. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. It's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. Lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now... He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. All right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts. So if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss.
It's a nice car. She said that like this happens to her regularly. Mr. Richards has been worried sick. Oh, who's this? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> I'll toss you off this roof. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the line. Just ho hold on. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're going to be a good boy when I'm done. I don't want to know. 
Solomon's office. Come on. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from where? Ah, ah, what a wonderful surprise. <laughs> Anton, my boy, you're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love you. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. You're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Nah, it's weird that they're not parked in the nice cars out here anymore. Got something going on for his extra missions. Man, I'm drunk. But shit, I ain't getting drunker. <laughs> whatever that means, my man, whatever that means. Right, so let's go to Barry. Where you at, Mr. Revolutionary? What? The smoke in. I'm at City Hall. I'm the only fool here. Uh, uh, it's uh, not true, yeah. Right? <laughs> oh shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be right there. I, uh, uh, I didn't forget. I was busy. Yeah, busy. That's it. <laughs> Fight the power. Smoking? Yeah, in his fucking bedroom. There was people here, though. Mama, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's it. All right, I guess we can go to uh, we drive away first off. Your car is the shit. So Let's have to pop back up maybe. 
There we go. Let's go ahead and drive over to Devon. Man, you got off lucky, homie. Slick! Oh, you must be Michael's boy. Oh, man. Sometimes enlightenment, it can be a real bitch. Good to meet you. Yeah, likewise, homie. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? This is kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech about the value of friendship. Oh, of course, you must be the creepy one. That's coming from you, please. Mmm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed.
Yeah, they're confusing the shit out of me right now, honestly. I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does this hey, change seven? How about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh, the fool wants to race us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. I might be mission failed. Oh, jeez. I was trying to read what it said in the corner, and all it was telling me was the special ability. We coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. They're too far ahead. We gotta catch up to them if we want them to stop. Suspect has entered the Braddock Tunnel. Officer T maintains his pursuit. They'll stop eventually. Good things come to those who wait. How you do it, T? We gotta hang in there. Stop sometime. How far are they taking us? I can swear we've circled half the state. Fights at the back. I think they want him to stop and take the booking. Let's do this. Let's get him.
car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Oh, fuck you too. <laughs> you know how fast you're going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we are sitting there, so uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. Entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Man, I'm sick of driving so slow staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? Oh, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the cars. Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey! Just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South L.S. for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right, fool. Well, looks like you guys are fighting it out for second and third. I'm just biding my time. I wouldn't write me off just yet. Hey, Frank. Yeah? What'd I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what, right before I met you, I was boosting rides and racing them. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. Ha <laughs> ha! Weston. He ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they worth. You don't sound that different, to be honest. Now, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like, to you, what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just a smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing a job. And leave it at that. Sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you. Back off her. Get away from me!
gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion, a work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, right, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. <laughs> I like how he's asking. He's Find like, Mulligan and he like her? Follow him to the lockup. Someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, oh. you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life! It's just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. That's weird. He doesn't want Michael to help with this one. I don't like that. class. Alright, so we got Devin, we got Lester. Let's go ahead and head to... Let's go see what Lester needs from us. It's been a while. This is Dr. Isaiah Friedlander. My practice is closed now, but you can tune into. You just texted me about a phone session. Oh, it's a Franklin mission. Oh, these are Franklin missions. I didn't even notice that. Check for one of these legs. Hush now. Oh, oh. oh okay. <laughs> Franklin it is. Let's see. That's basically
Ever heard of Jackson Skinner? He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill. Shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie. I'll be in touch. Damn, that must be my girl. Hi there, beautiful. You want to party with me? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Girl, you won't get down? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Whatever. You ain't nothing. I'm out of here. You know, I don't even feel bad about it. Hey, man, I wiped that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon.
So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking he could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. Hey, sorry I'm late. It's my first day on the job. I hope the traffic isn't too bad. Yesterday it took me three hours to go half a mile. Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? What happened to the old bus driver? I really like that guy. Hey! Hey, get in, we're running late. Well, you're late, late, late. That'll be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't in Fairhike. Forget about it. Spend thrifts. You needed a ride, homie. Why you bill? Attention, passengers. Please hold on to your fucking seats. Just business shit. You know how it is. Good to go. Hey, look out for fools like me.
out of luck, mom. That's dumb luck right there. Stay on and look out. 
Roger that. Del Perro, so 
side of the lot. There's a man by a car. I'll check him out. It ain't Chad. This guy working on his whip. might be worth something. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's yours, man. Enjoy! My baby... No, no, not my baby. Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? We're just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars. Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dawg. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. So, uh, the old hanging Chad has only gone and reported that car stolen. Shit, and I spared this motherfucker. I'm actually really surprised this is where I was supposed to be going, because I did not know where I was supposed to be going. Turns oh, out it's at the airport. She is. <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Well, I was Man, trying I to, to get away. Right. Hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? 
Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? I'll tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go. Everything hurts. What's up, brother?
assholes! Start up, you piece of shit! I need to borrow your car, lady! What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work. This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Uh, but 
to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. It's my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me? About Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The truth. Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. But some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who were close to me. My cousin, uh, you met in my co. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. But does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier, he's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. And he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want to drink? Not now! Pendeja! All right, you grab a vehicle, something personal. I'll handle the gun. All right. You need anything? Get me on the headset. Yeah, okay. Well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house? Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job, so what's it all about? Okay, the guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him, but it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down and I'll be ready. T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. Give me a second. Ha, not good enough. That didn't do it. 
Take another shot. That'll go down next time. Give me a second. <laughs> It's like, was I even shooting at the right chance? Not good enough. Is it that one or this one? That didn't do it. There it is. Out past downtown. Oh. Gotta shoot in front to compensate for the speed of the jet. There you go. one it is at least so I got three freaking planes in front of me yo I got her Talking about hitting. southwest of the city Jets moving gotta give a lead
Oh no! Get the files, and if the cousin made it, take him out. Thing, but sir, coming up. Gotta get paid. Just do the job. I'll get us paid down the road. I'm working with the government. to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, uh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah, I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. Holy shit. What's going on, man? Ah! 
Where is he? Uh, the fuck has happened? Why do you have his car? Piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What? Happened, cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Tom! don't. That's a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work, and he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, kidnapped him. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, his oh, wife. Oh no. Oh shit! What the fuck did you do? Oh, oh, I just told you what I just did. Oh, now, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're gonna have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you pop in the back? All right now, patrol. <laughs> she already called shotgun. <laughs> now I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot, a little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods, you know what I'm saying. And this is what you get for fucking with Trevor. <laughs> nah, it wasn't his choice. This actually Lord. seems like a pretty good point to uh, wrap up everything. If you guys are enjoying this series, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Get on in here, come on! Mm.